Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with my go-to must-have favorite full coverage foundations that I think you really, really need this year. All of these foundations pretty much work on all skin types. So if you're oily, dry, normal combination, I think these would work amazing. I am gonna tell you how to prep your skin to get the best results for each foundation. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I love them all. Some are old, some are a little bit new, and I do have one of them on right now. So let's go ahead and get into this. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Also give this video a big, thumbs up because it helps me a lot and let's go ahead and get into it so before we go ahead onto the foundation let's address all of this <laughs> we wanted a little bit of a change and I thought you know why don't we go for some Hollywood curls and that's what we did if you guys want to review on this unit then definitely let me know I'm loving it so far um Perfecting it wasn't easy I'm kind of new to the whole unit game well I have used them before but you know it's not easy so for y'all that wear wigs on a regular basis please leave a comment down below with all of your tips and tricks because even doing my baby hairs today took me forever when i think of a full coverage foundation i want something that's still not gonna look super cakey on the skin i just do not like that look on anyone so i tend to go with foundations that can be built up really nicely but still mimic the texture of your skin and still look really really flawless and not heavy and cakey and you you just don't want to go around feeling like you have a mask on your face so i feel like all of these foundations that i have in front of me how many do i have one two three four five six uh foundations they are just that they give me amazing full coverage they last all day long they wear beautifully they look amazing on the skin super easy to blend out and they work with a lot of different primers and when i layer all my other products on top of it it just comes out beautifully okay you guys see the makeup right now this is full coverage but on a more natural way these are all high-end foundations if you guys want me to do just a drugstore version of this uh, video then definitely let me know in the comment section I'm gonna be honest I tend to gravitate towards full coverage found well foundations in general from Sephora <laughs> from high-end brands um, one the shade selection is a lot larger even though the drugstore is okay it's coming up trust me Maybelline and um, Covergirl are really like killing it with the with the shade range but I tend to gravitate towards higher end foundations just because of the performance it's what I'm used to I test them out a lot for my channel and also for my freelance kicks I still do brides and take on clients and stuff like that and my kit is definitely more of a higher end kit it reflects on the prices all that good stuff maybe I'll do a video on um, becoming a makeup artist if you guys want to see that let me know the one that I'm wearing right now and this guy right over here you guys have heard me talk about this so much. It's the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. I absolutely love this foundation and out of all of them, this is definitely my number one. Yeah, it is my number one. It's my go-to, I wear it all of the time. I, I have to actually tell myself not to wear it because I just go to this one. Ever since I tried it out, I just fell in love with the formula, the wearability, the way it just stays intact throughout the day. I don't have to touch it up, blot, nothing like that. It just looks seamless for the entire time. It's super, super long lasting, which I love. I can rely on this foundation and not feel like, oh, is my, is my face greasy? Do I need to go check in the mirror? It just performs beautifully. Beautifully. It can give me like a nice medium coverage, but then I can go ahead and build it up to a full coverage where it's going to cover every single thing and I don't feel like it looks cakey or heavy when you do layer this product. It's just beautiful. So this guy here does come in a bunch of different shades, but for some reason on the Sephora website, I'll only see very small amounts. I'm not sure why, but when I go on Bobbi Brown, I do see the full range and also when I go on Nordstrom. So I'm gonna try and find out why that is and I'm gonna link uh, both websites down below because they do have quite a large, larger range. I just don't know why it's not on Sephora.ca, but I love, love this foundation. My shade is Warm Honey 5.5. The next foundation is an oldie, but a goodie. This foundation, 
I love so much because it's one of the first foundations that I put into my freelance kit. Like when I started to invest in my kit and put in high-end products, this was my go-to because the shade range back then was amazing they had so many different shades the undertones were amazing and so i went towards this one and i've been using it in my kit for like years now it's so so good so here it is this is the makeup forever ultra hd liquid foundation they do have a stick version of this foundation and i'm i'm not too much of a fan it just didn't work out on my skin but this one over here is beautiful it looks amazing on every single skin type depending on how you're priming and prepping the skin but it looks amazing it looks beautiful in pictures for videography that's why I love this for my brides because you know they're gonna be taking pictures all day getting um, videos done you want their skin to look flawless but not like they have a mask on and you also want them to feel comfortable and this is the guy that I go to it is a beautiful foundation it's really um, like water resistant sweat resistant it lasts really 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 long time and it has amazing coverage my personal shade is Y405 and it matches me pretty perfect like I don't have to go ahead and change anything up with like concealer and powder it's pretty spot on they did go ahead and change the bottle but the formula I think still remains the same I didn't see a huge difference in terms of the formula it still performs really well it still looks beautiful on the skin and with this one I also don't feel like I have to blot my skin or anything like that it still looks really beautiful on the skin so one of my favorites and if you are a makeup artist Definitely, I would recommend this one for all of your clients. Next foundation, I talked about a lot. When it first came out, I was using this non-stop. I was so surprised by this one because it was a brand that I never really gravitated towards because I felt like it was more towards the people who wanted very, very sheer um, makeup and for, uh, I don't know, I just got the vibe that it was for more older people. But here we go. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. And this is, I feel like it's really underrated. I don't hear too many people talk about this foundation, but it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. The way it blends on the skin is so seamless. Very easy to go on the skin with a brush or a sponge. It just looks like butter. Like, it's so beautiful. This is definitely a full coverage foundation, but it doesn't feel or look heavy. It just looks so beautiful. It evens out everything and gives you like this very seamless, flawless finish. I absolutely love this foundation. There's a large amount of shades, but I do feel like they definitely need to add more shades, especially in the darker and the lighter spectrum of shade ranges because there's a lot of medium shades in this one they run a little bit darker than you would think they do especially when you go towards the lighters and also the undertones the undertones are very golden yellow undertone I find it a little bit difficult to find rosy tones and neutral tones so that is definitely something that I feel like they should work on just um, expanding on the very fair and also on the deep, deep side and the undertones. But other than that, the formula of this product is beautiful. Next, I have Dior. This is the undercover 24 hour full coverage foundation. This is beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. And now that I've pulled out all of my favorite full coverage foundations, I'm like, why did I stop wearing this? It's just you try out so many products, everything gets stuck in the drawer and tucked away and you kind of forget about it. But this is a beautiful product. Like it is so gorgeous on the skin. The only thing with this one, the shades, more shades. Um, the undertones are a little, on some of them, a little bit off in my opinion. I definitely have to mix two shades to get my particular shade. I haven't found a spot on shade that matches me to the T. Maybe there is and I just haven't played around with it, but I have two shades and I mix them together to get my perfect shade. The formula is just beautiful, very long lasting. This one is definitely more on the, it looks like your skin, actually like your skin. I do feel like with this one, I have to use a little bit more product than the other ones that I mentioned to get the full, full coverage, but it just looks gorgeous on the skin. Um, another thing that I wanna mention is this is heavily 
scented compared to all the other ones that I have in front of me. It's definitely scented. If you are sensitive to that kind of thing and you don't like any type of scent in your foundation or makeup products, you will you will definitely smell this one. Now, the smell doesn't linger on throughout the day, but it's first when you pump it out and you start to blend it on the skin, you will you will get a whiff of a scent. It smells like an expensive perfume, which I don't mind, but some people do mind, so I just want to put that out there, but it is gorgeous. My shade is 040, and then I mix it with another shade. I'm going to let you guys know in the description box because the 040 is a little too warm for me the undertone is a little too um warm there's a lot of kind of redness in this undertone i wish it was a little bit more golden yellow instead of like super warm the foundations that i have a full review on i'm going to link their reviews down below so you guys can get more information and also see the product in action me actually applying it but um, yeah, I love this. This is one of the expensive ones, but it is beautiful. And also when this one came out, that is when Dior extended the shade range, which was amazing because they have really beautiful products, but the shade range was really lacking. And I feel when they came out with this one, they added a few more. And I know they're coming out, I believe, with two more formulas and they have expanded the shade range even further, which I'm so happy to see because they are a beautiful luxury brand that actually has very very good products they're not just that luxury brands that sell because of the name their products are actually amazing quality so i'm excited to see what other shades they come out with but um yeah i love 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 this product the next product i have is from a brand that i just hold so dear to my heart one because i used to work with them at nordstrom and two because i did a really exciting um kind of campaign with them what well, wasn't a campaign it was like a video thing that we did I will I will link it down below for you guys to check it out I didn't even talk about it on YouTube I don't think but very very dear to my heart I love this brand this is Laura Mercier and this is their flawless fusion ultra longwear foundation I have mine in the shade 4n1 suntan and this is so beautiful definitely a full full coverage foundation so little goes a very long way with this product and it just looks so flawless on the skin the shades are really good the thing with Laura Mercier that I can appreciate is her undertones she really works on different types of undertones especially when I was working for her I got to know the complexion products a little bit more and she has really nice neutral undertones golden undertone red undertones rosy undertones she even has so far as i want to say almost like a grayish green undertone which some people do have um so she really works well with her undertones the shade selection definitely can be expanded in my opinion but i feel like a lot of people can find a shade for them it's just a really really beautiful product all in all it's a really long lasting foundation it looks beautiful on the skin it um, blends out really really nicely and again it looks good on any skin type absolutely love it and last but not least I had to save the best for last and this is Lancome Tank Idol this foundation Tate Idol Ultra Wear okay <laughs> with SPF 15 and it has up to 24 hours of wear and comfort and transfer resistant this has been on the market for years and years and years and it is well loved i remember when i started my youtube channel people would rave about this foundation all day long and i couldn't afford it because it was high end it was super expensive and now look at me okay i've worked with lancome before and i'm proud to say that like i I'm so proud to say that I've worked with Lancome before. I have a great relationship with the brand and they are just one of the most beautiful brands because their products, quality all around. Um, I have tried out so many products from them, especially last year. That's when I really got to know the brand and tested out a couple of different products from primers to setting sprays, eyeshadows, lip products. And this bad boy over here is definitely a hit for me. I totally understand why people love it. First, let's talk about the shade range. This has so many, so many shades to select from. Like, it is insane. You will definitely find a shade for yourself. They also do really, really well on the undertones. There are so many different undertones within this foundation. If you are rosy, if you are red, if you are golden, there is something for you. I have my shade in 427W and it matches me really well 
but it's more of my summer shade when I have a little bit of a tan. Now, I can still wear this one and make it work with a brighter concealer and my setting powder, but in terms of it matching me to a T, it's definitely more on my summer shade because it's a little bit warmer for me um, in the winter time. I definitely get a little bit more pale, you know. It's super long lasting, full coverage without it feeling and looking cakey. It's definitely transfer resistant. Like this one will not budge. And it is another product that I would definitely recommend if you're a makeup artist and you want something in your kit that's going to be reliable for your clients. This is it. It covers like everything, but it doesn't look heavy or dry or cakey. This one has more of a demi matte finish. It's not a flat matte. I always say demi matte because demi matte is more like not complete flat matte where you don't see any shine whatsoever. And you still see dimension to your skin. You still see your natural glow and like contours of your face. That's what I mean when I say demi matte definitely check this one out it is just it is gorgeous like if you haven't tried out Lancome yet I'm sure you have but if you if you haven't you are missing out anyone can use these it's all about how you are prepping your skin now if you have dry skin or texture skin and you really want a full coverage foundation like these guys you want something that's a demi matte it's reliable but you're scared that it's gonna look too dry on your skin prep your skin properly okay it's all about hydration 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 so i would definitely recommend exfoliating your skin if you have very textured skin and you feel like that day where you're going to apply this foundation it's just too much going on so exfoliate your skin okay moisturize your skin with your regular moisturizer give it a couple of minutes then go in with a super hydrating primer you guys know that i am obsessed with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. That is definitely one of my go-to hydrating primers. And there's also the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. That's another super, super hydrating product that you guys should definitely check out. They are amazing. And also do a nice setting mist. A nice setting mist will bring so much glow to your skin. I love the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, and I also love the Pixi Glow Mist. Both of these products work really, really similar, but the price point is really different. So if you're on a budget, go with the Pixi if you like to splurge check out the Tatcha. They are both really amazing products. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Definitely let me know in the comment section, what is your go-to full coverage foundation? And if you have a drugstore one, let me know because I need to test it out too. And um, I will try to do a video for drugstore, but I don't have a lot of full coverage drugstore foundations. So I'm going to work on that. And I definitely promise to feature more affordable products for you guys so i'm gonna work on that for sure okay i'm gonna stay away from sephora thank you so much for joining me on another video i hope this was super helpful for you guys as always i'm trying to put out content that will help you that you guys enjoy so by you leaving me a comment lets me know if yes this is a good one and we want more of these types of videos or no let's let's do something else just leave your feedback down below i love chatting with you guys give this video a thumbs up and also turn your post notifications on so you are notified every time i upload a video and I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao!